Today is the day, the final leg of Rally New Zealand and the one that could see Kali Rovanperä crowned the youngest ever World Rally Champion. Just four stages and 31 kilometres of competitive action to run, his rally lead 29 seconds clear of Sebastian Ogier and 46.4 ahead of championship rival Oit Tanak. After days of rain, the sun finally showed up and, with the help of some road cleaning from the earlier runners, Rovan Pera extended his advantage by winning the opening test six tenths quicker than Sebastian Auger and 1.4 clear of Oit Tanak. I just tried to have a normal slow pace to save the tyre a bit and, uh, and see what, uh, what we can do on the afternoon. Um, so yeah, nothing crazy. Stage 15, repeated later in the day as the power stage, and Oit Tanak was having a go. On the limit everywhere, and at times very nearly over it, he went 1.7 seconds quicker than Rovan Pera. In places it was far too brave, like uh, one place we were very close to have a proper crash show. So yeah, it was a bit of excitement. <laughs> Sebastian Auger was not out to take any risks today. With Elvin Evans' day two retirement, it was down to him and Rovan Pera to bring home a Toyota 1-2 and the manufacturer's championship points that come with it. The Frenchman 4.1 seconds slower than Tanak, but he remained in a comfortable second place overall. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan, all the 1-2 all the for the team and uh, hopefully celebrate something today. The penultimate stage of the rally, the second run through Whitford Forest and back to wet conditions. Thierry Neuville very nearly threw his Hyundai off the road, sliding wide on this left-hander. He just got away with it. I went a bit wide actually. I, I changed some settings on the, on the hybrid system and I, I got a huge surprise in front of the braking, so I went a bit wide. And so, the final stage of the rally. Here were the vital stats. Rovan Pera leading 31.2 seconds clear of Ogier, with Tanak third, 47.9 adrift. Tanak gave it everything he could in the power stage. Topping the timesheets and taking the five championship points was the only way to keep the pressure on Rovan Pera. He went provisional fastest, crossing the line with Ogier and Rovan Pera still to run. A proper sportsman, he had this to say at the end of the stage. We had a far from good weekend, but uh, anyway, uh, I mean, this weekend, yes or no, uh, Kalle and Toyota has been uh, very, very strong and they, uh, they have beat everybody fair and square, no question at all. And uh, yeah, hopefully everything goes uh, well for Kalle and uh, also congratulations to Harry. I mean, uh, he's done a great job as a father too to raise up uh, such a kid, so he should be very proud of her. Ogier came through next and played it safe to take second place overall in the rally. A strong return to the WRC for the eight times world champion. I'm happy with my rally. I think it was a nice comeback after three months and a very demanding one, very fast, difficult condition the whole weekend. So quite happy with my performance. Obviously, Calais, yeah, I've done even better. Now I just crossed my finger that this last six Ks are going well for him and like you say then we are witnessing uh, history. Just Rovan Pera left to run and this was without question the most vital 6.77 kilometers he had ever driven in his life. All he and his family had worked for over the last 22 years came down to this moment. He just needed to finish fourth fastest in the stage to confirm the championship. But did he back off and cruise? No chance. Even with so much at stake, he and co-driver Jonne Haltonen changed nothing. They approached the stage the same way they would under normal circumstances. The first split came through and no surprises, Rovan Pera was up. As he came towards the end of the stage, he edged ever closer to making history. Just a final kilometre to run and the whole team waited patiently, but it was inevitable. Rovan Pera won the rally and the power stage to jump across the finish line and into the history books. Calais Rovan Pera, the 2022 World Rally Champion and the youngest the sport has ever seen. It's quite a big relief after so good season and, uh, and yeah, finally, finally we are here. At just 22 years old, Kali Rovampera, who is still in the early stages of his WRC career, remember, is your World Rally Champion. 
Rally Spain returns in three weeks time and remember there is still a manufacturer's championship to be decided. Toyota or Hyundai? For now we have a new world rally champion. Congratulations Calerov and Pera. We go again in Spain.